Welcome to yet another vlog, yes? Yo, my people, I'm in Poland. I tell you what happened yesterday, I couldn't. Last, last, last. everybody go to breakfast. You go bow for the result, Nothing to discuss, Cause I did not buy you fault, I'm without any doubt, I'm a me, I be a doubt, and you go feed the girl. I'll tell you what happened yesterday, I couldn't make it from my train home, so I had to take taxi. But thanks God, you know, I've ended up on this train station and I had some brilliant street interviews with homeless, not homeless people of the streets. So I'm really happy this happened, but uh, yeah, I spent some money for the taxi. Then my sister picked me up to my home. Well, not my home, my parents' place where I'm staying now for a couple of weeks. And I hope you will watch my vlogs from Poland. I will spend here the new year. And then and Christmas, of course. Uh, show you the little place where I've ended up. You always welcome to come here as well. Uh, so this is the which we called Osada Bura Polana, right? Right there, little shop. You can buy items. My sister is handmade. It's a handmade craft here. You can get it. I leave the money. In the, it's a self checkout basically, yes. A self checkout. Anyways, folks, so I've had that interview. One of the interviews I've managed to conduct yesterday is a woman from Australia. Raz, 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 raz. Uh, folks, this is quite interesting. I'm in Poland, in Tiche city, and I met this lady who can speak uh, pretty fluent English. She was born in Australia, and she's homeless in Poland now, right? What's your story? I'm homeless in Polish because when I came to Poland, I was 15, and I had to speak, I had to learn, because I only, I didn't know the, the Polish language. She was born in Australia and lived there until she was 15 and then her parents took her to Poland. And she's homeless now <laughs> in Poland and she's 70 year old, bilingual basically. She, uh, the language stayed with her even though like, she had hardly any contact with it. But it's interesting, she says one sentence there that you, I hope you pay a notice, is what she says, it's my parents were in camps. She says, my parents were in camps. I mean, the war camps, yeah. And then they decided to come back to Poland, funnily enough, from Australia. I would never. Anyway. Good moments don't last for too long, folks. I've already got the job here. I've got to help with some snow. Let's do it. Super in action. By the way, the COVID. I feel better now. And I will be even better tonight when I use the sauna next door. I remember you know, Sada. It's really good water as well. It smells of the rotten egg. Good stuff, I tell you. I'm using the external microphones, but the battery lasts quite long, so you don't have to switch it off and on all the time. And by the way, the new camera, Sony A7 Series 3. The battery is just amazing last for like an hour of constant recording imagine 
got to get a metal one. This spade doesn't work with icy snow. No, I don't think I can do it. Walka ze śniegiem jest. The fight with the nature is ongoing. Vlog is super. You remember that uh, interview with a boy who did different br bracelets and necklaces? You can get his produce in there. And I've got a job now, I've got to get some locks into a cabin. So we use two different kinds of wood in Osada Bura Polana. We use the pine wood and oak wood. The, the pine wood is to get the fire started and the oak is to get the nice heat later on. So pine goes on the top and I bring later on the oak wood. I just add, we are in the Buri cottage, it's called Buri because that's the name of the, this meadow is Bura Polana. And this is Buri Cottage. And another job, more wood supplies for the, the apartment itself, which is also for rent. But at the moment, Vlogger Zupa is taking the whole place. Thanks God, my mom. Happy days, folks. Zupa has just given you 10% discount for staying in Osada Bura Polana, either in this cottage or Buri Cottage or the apartment. And you can also use the sauna here. So think about it, 10% of the price, which is about 350 Polish zwoty, which for a night, which is about, let's say 80 pounds, and you're knocking off another 10% down, and it's only two hours from the airport, the flight, 20 pounds to Poland, from London, Stansted, Luton, Gatwick, or anywhere really in the world. You, you know, it's a global village now. So consider staying in the Carpathian Mountains, in these beautiful surroundings. Let me show you. So you see, there are homeless people in Poland. I know the story of this one. 
It's a drunk cart that has fallen out with his wife and he took this chapel over. See, I will try to come back here later and get that interview with the guy who took the chapel over. So I'm off to a meadow above to let my drone and see the Beskidi, which is part of the Carpathian range of mountains. What they look like from above. Vlogger Zupa. So when I got here and uh, let the drone go, uh, I realized uh, I got a, a, a notification that the battery is dead. I have to fly down to get the drone. So it wasn't a very successful flight. Uh, what can you do? And the other thing is uh, my microphones are not working properly. There's always something when it comes to uh, technology. So remember to donate and help me with this so I can have more vlogs like this. And if you can't, just give a comment, like, and subscribe. Bon appetit. Look at that. It's like pancakes, potato pancakes and salad. Mm. Fantastic. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight. Folks, I'm going to a sauna in a moment. And for those of you who want to see more about sauna in this place and how to use a sauna, I recommend watching my old vlog, which is dedicated purely to sauna experience. This time, I'm not going to bother. All right, folks, so this is the first round. Oh, God, I think I'm naked. Now my towel has fallen down. I'm holding a camera. Oh my God, what to do? I've got to pick it up and cover myself. Oh, somebody there? Who is this? It's been my mom. A second round behind me. And I love it so much. I'm going for the third one. Even though I said, I won't do it because I've just had the coronavirus, but I think it's actually doing some goody goody for me. And this is the microphone, if you wonder what it is. Right, let's go for the third round. Taking some of that to the sauna with me. All right, that's it for today for the sauna. I call it a day, let's go home. Oh, first of all, let's get the camera back home. Oh. I feel so good, I feel so good. I feel so good, I feel so good. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, I'll see you on other videos of mine pretty shortly. It's been a long, long day for me, especially that I've just recovered from COVID. It takes a while for your body to be fully functioning. So today was a long day and I feel a bit tired. We call it a day. Thanks for watching this one. I'm watching my own vlogs. So you can see it's Peter G. Blaze, Terror Boy. I hope you've seen the interview. I think that's quite interesting. Shows you the London music scene. 
I do recommend you watching this one. Well, I'll be going to sleep now and I hope you tune in again tomorrow and I will be doing another vlog. Alright? Thanks for watching this one. Till next time, vlogger Zupa. Oh